like small gloves. This is Madina Sela at your service. And for today's vlog, ngayon natin uumpisahan ang series na gusto kong umpisahan noon pa man. So, this series is Dean Community Teach. Tcharing! Bakit Dean Community Teach, guys? Because community for the word communication Kasi communication yung course ko na pinagraduatan. And then, teach is because I'm already a licensed professional teacher. Ah, charot. So, without further ado, let's start with our first episode, which is how I passed the board exam. So, eto tips lang to guys. Sa in general, no matter what board exam are you going to take, okay? So, first... Yan, may kodigo ako kasi hindi ko to memorized. First is to set your mindset. One way, one direction, one path, one goal. I'm going to pass the board exam no matter what happen, whatever comes along the way. I'm going to take the board exam and pass it. Ganon. Second is to be disciplined. By being disciplined, it means time management. So, being disciplined does not only mean it's a usage of social media, but also by your time management when it comes to studying. So, dapat may time frame ka na kung saan, kung anong week, day 1, day 2, day 3, ganito, day 4, day 5, ganito, or day 1, chapter 1, wow, day 2, chapter 2, wow, galeng. Depende sa iyo. Depende sa resources na nandyan sa iyo. Or kung hindi, day one, book one, page two ba? Ganyan. Ikaw nang bahala. At least, the main, the main purpose is that my time frame ka na fina-follow. Next is be resourceful. Ako ha, hindi ko hindi deny that I enrolled myself in a review center and it helped me a lot in getting the resources that I needed. Everything na provided ng review center for everything like for general education book from professional education book from my um, what do you call this one from my major book I bought it everything just to be sure from the other brochure kung saan may mga bullets na nakalangan mong pag-aralan I bought it everything why because I just had this one thing na baka pag hindi ko binili yung isa yun yung magiging reason why I go, I'm going to fail the board exam. So, depende na sa inyo kung gusto nyo mag-enroll ng review center or gusto nyo mag-study sa sarili nyo. Advice ko lang sa inyo, whatever your decision is, first is that borrow books and or have books, yung mga previous books mo, pag-aralan mo yun. Second is to download PDFs from internet. Third, go to YouTube. Kasi there are a lot of YouTubers who are explaining some theories or anything that could possibly be hard for others. So, by going to YouTube, if they're going to explain it to you kung masyadong kang nahihirapan. That's what I'm actually planning also. Sana, bigyan ako ni Lord ng strength in my mind and in my soul and in my mouth na makapag-explain sa inyo ng mga theories na alam ko or theories kung saan magaling ako noong time na nag-take ako ng board exam. And then, fourth is prepare yourself emotionally, financially, spiritually, um, mentally, and then physically. Um, physically, you should sleep 8 hours a day. Um, emotionally, segue mo lahat ng heartbreaks mo, whether sa family, away nyo ng kapatid mo, away nyo ng boyfriend mo, away nyo ng best friend mo, segue mo for the whole duration that you're going to review for the board exam. And also, most especially, sa board exam, think about yourself and why you're there. Okay? And then, um, spiritually, you should always pray every day that the Lord will give you wisdom to understand everything that you're reading or reviewing. And then financially, although hindi ito applicable sa lahat, kasi masyadong malaki yung spend mo kung mag-enroll ka sa review center. But is, financially is that kailangan meron kang pambayad. Of course, pag magtitika ng board exam, 
And then, what's the other one? Mentally, eat properly. Para yung isip mo hindi sa pagkain. Ikagayon ko. Yung isip mo nasa aral, aral, aral lang talaga. Hindi yung nababother ka sa ibang bagay. Kasi, oh my God, hindi pa pala ako nakakain. Gutom na ako. Fried chicken, spaghetti, burger, pizza, fries. Anything like that. And then, for the fifth um, advice is that, read, review, and rest. Ganyan lang guys, read, review, and rest. So, read, basahin mo, intindihin mo, review, i-evaluate mo yung self mo kung talaga napag-aralan mo. May mga workbooks kasi na pa after chapter by chapter, may mga test or unit test, chapter test, what do you call that? May mga test na ganyan. So, dapat i-review mo yung sarili mo kung talaga bang may natutunan ka o may naintindihan ka. And then, rest. At least, take a nap or nung ka ng tubig, kumain ka, mag-snacks ka, reward yourself. Then, go back again, read, review, and then rest. Do not bombard yourself with a lot of information. Kasi, pag masyado ka nang bombarded, malilimutan mo na yan. Hindi ka na makakapag-focus. So, dapat, it's going to be a balance of everything. And then, for the sixth is, be confidently optimistic. Why? Why confidently? Kasi, minsan optimistic tayo, pero hindi tayo confident papasa ko, papasa ko. Pero hindi ka confident in a way na hindi mo siya, it's not that you boast it, hindi mo siya parang pinapakita sa iba na, oh, papasa ko, I'm confident I'm going to pass. Pero, yung work mo, you do not study. You make gala all the time. You do gala more than study. So, be confidently optimistic. And then, Segway mo muna yung mga negativities. Yung, for example, kung nag-review center ka and then sa review center kasi may mga, may mga tinitake ka yung mga quizzes and then hindi mo na-reach yung goal mo na 105 over 110. Pak, 5 mistakes only. Hindi mo na-reach. So, madadown ka. Kahit na madown ka, still be confident. It's, you know what guys, it's okay to be down but don't be down for too long raise up and then go back to the first advice that I I gave you. It is to set your mindset. Diba kung may mindset ka na, babalik-balikan mo yun eh. Kasi, oh my god, I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass. Kung ganun. Go, kahit pa ma-disappoint ka sa sarili mo. Next is, relax and don't be pressured. Why? Why you should not be pressured? Kasi, pag magiging pressure ka, mapapangunahan ka ng takot mo sa pagiging confident mo, sa pagiging optimistic mo. So, you should turn that fear into a motivation. Kung napipressure ka, sabihin mo, Oh my God, I'm so pressured, but I can do it. Oh my God, pressure na ako, pero, mm, lavern! Yung mga ganun. And for the eighth advice, Know a little bit of everything. At least know a little bit of everything. You know, depende na lang sa IQ mo kung kaya mong alamin lahat. Pero at least know a little of everything. Every topic dapat may alam ka. Kasi kung ang mga questions is alam mong hindi ganun, alam mo na kung ano yung pagpipilian mo. Like for example, alam mo na ang verb ay action. It talks about action. And then, nilagyan doon na ang she ay verb. Pero alam mo na ang she is not a verb. Simple lang guys, an example. So, it could lead, it could possibly lead you to getting the right answer. So, that's it. You should know a little bit of everything. Kung kaya nyo lahatin, go! But, at least to know a little bit of everything. And then, nine is to know the methods of the previous passers. So, nandito naman kayo sa YouTube na to, and then you're watching my video, that means you're doing it. You are actually taking one step closer to your dream. Charat. So, yan guys, it is very important. Pwede rin kayong magbasa ng mga blogs, 
kung paano nila pinasa yung board exam nila or you know just one on one communication with someone you know who passed the board exam and then mga advices you know what feeling ko naman kasi wala naman kasing pumasa na nagdamot dapat talaga hindi ka magdadamot kung nakapasa ka na kasi bakit binigay na yan sa iyo ng Dios bless ka na ni Lord dapat you should be the one by giving advices you should be the one to bless others also so for the 10 and last tip that I could give is be humble and always pray. So be humble. Example is that kung nag-enroll ka sa isang review center and then may mga quizzes kasi yan and then you got a score higher compared to your classmate, huwag mong ipag talagang ipag nalandakan na sakto ba? Huwag mong ipangalandakan na mas mataas pa yung score mo sa kanila. Just be humble. Kasi kung humble ka, ganyan yun na yun eh. Flat yan eh. Magiging humble ka, magiging humble ka, papunta ka na doon. Sabi kasi ng papa ko, si Lord daw, kung sino daw yung humble, pinapataas niya. O kung sino naman yung boastful, pinapapaba niya. So, just be humble and always pray. Always pray talaga for wisdom and for guidance kang Lord. So, I wish you all the best for this upcoming board exam, guys. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you've learned something from me. I know some of my tips are very common already or you have heard it already from other people or your friends. But I hope by giving you or by reminding you those tips again and again, it would really instill in your minds that you're going to really take it. So, God bless and good luck to your exam. God, Aja Fighting! Always enjoy life and keep hydrated.